and welcome everybody to today. It is Monday, March 24th, and today on my show I have Aaron Christensen. I've known Aaron for a long time, especially uh, out here in Las Vegas in the nightclub industry, marketing director for a lot of uh, clubs and venues out here in Vegas. And then he decided to leave us, and, and he went west and uh, decided to do some stuff out there, which was uh, getting into uh, helping other nightclubs out there do what he uh, has done, had done had done out in Las Vegas and also some catering business and uh, munchies and all sorts of fun stuff. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming in today. All right, all we right, have, all right. We actually have a, a, a nice full studio in here today. We do. I, br I brought the entourage. <laughs> you brought the entourage and uh, we're going to get into uh, uh, why they've come to visit with you today. But uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, your experience here in Las Vegas, and uh, I had Aaron Regalis on my show, and uh, and uh, he's a friend of yours, and he's our he's our uh, strategic partner, does all of our graphics, a lot awesome. of our website stuff, and uh, yeah, he he's actually a really good buddy of uh, Ricky J, who's in the studio with us okay. also. Awesome. Um, just strategic partner as far as branding and everything, and so yeah. And, and you've known him for a long time as well as I have, and we were yeah, I was talking with him on my show uh, before about how he. It basically took his knowledge of that industry uh, of uh, nightlife and branding and marketing uh, here in Las Vegas and, and launched it into his own uh, product. But you were able to basically do the same thing going from here, Las Vegas out to uh, Los Angeles and Orange County that's, with yeah. various uh, night, nightlife venues. So let's talk about that a bit. Yeah, that's correct. Um, when you were speaking with Regellis of, of all day, uh, it really struck a chord with myself because... Um, it was a direct reflection of my story. Um, having been with uh, Light Group and opening Hard Rock and all these other venues in Vegas, uh, I had an extreme amount of knowledge in the VIP table service type of realm, which was what Orange County, LA was kind of starting to go for. Is, right. uh, a lot of their lounges, a lot of their nightclubs were going towards the bottle service aspect of things. Um, so Which I was, they, and they hadn't seen that kind of a, a mindset before. I mean, Vegas hadn't either. Yeah. Prior yeah, to I mean, light it, group uh, doing bottle service. Exactly. Light. And, and obviously with the bank and stuff like sure. that, it really, really introduced the whole bottle service and cabanas and all that kind of stuff. And so, um, OCLA was kind of just right in line with them. And that was like the next big stop. And, uh, a couple of my, uh, clients when I was hosting and whatnot were club owners in Orange County. Okay. And so basically, for lack of a better term, had poached me from, <laughs> from said, Vegas. They said, we don't want you out there anymore. Do what you do there out here. Yes, we want you to mirror what you guys are doing in Vegas in our venues in Orange County. I remember when you were uh, first starting all that, and I was like, oh, he's, he's taking what he no knows out here and, and puts it out there. I didn't know if they would be ready for it yet. That was the only thing. It was, it was kind of very – it was – because they're very promoter. I mean, so is Vegas, but sure. uh, Orange County Different in LA is very, of... very promoter driven. Where here is more of the clubs and they kind of control every aspect of it from photographers, the events they throw, everything. And out there is more of a, uh, a promoter saying, okay, we're going to, you know, team up with this venue and maybe get a Give portion us this of night the, and we're, of the uh, door uh, and the, the bar and what have it's you. It's the filler crowd. Right. So they wanted to bring the aspect where the actual money was, where selling bottles that, you know, they purchase for thirty dollars a piece for <laughs> six, seven hundred thousand. Because they're buying real estate. That's what they're buying. It's, that's the term. Yep. It's real estate. It's real estate. It's it's the guys needing a, a table for the girls to sit down at. Basically, that's, that is the thing. And, that's the thing. And Rebecca can attest to that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to wait in line. No, no. They they dressed up all cute and Our have the high heels on yeah. he wore the, the cute <laughs> shoes and the high heels and stuff they have to sit down they still end up carrying them out at the end of the night but you know okay. at least they right. sat down most of the night <laughs> they walk out barefoot <laughs> we can talk about that all day long exactly but uh so they they really open arms to that concept or did you really have to like come um, they found the mindset into no and... no they embraced okay, it good. and uh you'll see on on jeremy's website uh the photo i put up was the first project i worked with was heat ultra lounge right um, in Anaheim, Garden Walk, literally a hundred yards from the front gate of Disneyland. Yep. Um, and now they are pretty much exclusively bottle driven. I mean, they they have their filler crowd, which 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 the promoters bring in, but um, due to you know Vegas hosts and some other LA hosts coming in and working with them, um, they do a lot of bottle service now. Yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, hosts go from Vegas out, and even to like San Diego and Paul Paul D, and, and just doing a lot of cool stuff. Oh yeah, out there, and it's I I. 
as I said before the show started, I like promoting my friends, and I like to see everybody doing well. And my friend Alicia with Sea Legs, I had her on too. We are very familiar with Sea Legs. Yeah. Love the spot. Was so stoked to see Alicia on the show. Definitely yeah. it was uh, cool. Her too. It's Just three to... blocks from our our new it? location in awesome. Huntington Beach. Awesome. So yeah, amazing spot, amazing concept. So she's she's killing it out there. So and so you uh, you. You get into that field, but then you, what, did you get burned out or, I mean? No, I, I didn't get burned out. Um, I, during the whole nightclub thing, I happened to meet a very amazing young lady in Laguna Beach. Okay. Um, and uh, literally moved in with her four days later. Wow. And uh, got married <laughs> and... It sounds uh, like a lot of the people that are in here didn't know all the the, the story. Oh of this. no, no, they were, they were all okay, in sync. Okay. Yeah, Joan okay. and, and Ricky are best friends of mine and uh, um, pretty much I... I I did the reverse move and locked her down and got her pregnant. And uh, <laughs> now I have a keeper. Um, and That's she kind of wanted me, she knows my passion is nightlife, but she wanted me to be in the nightlife industry without being in the nightlife sure, industry. Sure. So she, she's in the mortgage industry and does okay. very well for herself. So she helped Joey, Francie, and I uh, facilitate my dreams and my passion by starting uh, what started as a out-of-the-house catering business, turned into multiple food trucks, concession trailers, and now uh, we are closing escrow on our first brick and mortar location in Costa Mesa. That's Huntington awesome. Beach. Yeah. So you sat there and you said, okay, you know, I met this amazing woman. I'm going to kind of just reorganize the way I do things in life. Basically, I'm going to grow up. And you're you're going to grow up. <laughs> you're going to trade in the Trans Am for a SUV. Basically, you know, yeah. and, yeah, the Fiero is uh, going away. <laughs> and so you, how did you, I know that you had mentioned that your passion is food and, uh, and drink and all that, but what, did you immediately know, okay, this is, I want to go into catering, or did you need to sit down and really vet it out to try and figure out what would be a good uh, niche for you to go into? Well, I grew I grew up in the restaurant business. Um, my family's all been in it. Um, my mom's Italian. I grew up in my grandmother's Italian kitchen. Um, I've always been very passionate about it. Uh, even in the time I, I went into the military after high school, um, but my first job while I was in high school was with Red Robin Snyder Group. Okay. Um, and that's where my kind of passion was ignited for the restaurant business. And even the entire time I was in the military and even after the military, I stayed with Red Robin. Um, and just, you know, that, that kind of just, the flame just grew from there. And uh, um, actually a year before I started Yo Mom's Catering, I was a contestant on MasterChef. Okay, and so okay. without any kind of, I, I call myself a, a, a culinary dropout, without any kind of formal <laughs> training, um, with exception of hands-on and working in kitchens, uh, I started a catering business and it, it just ignited and blew up in uh, weddings and private events and um, actually just got done with a, uh, a craft service contract. And okay. so it's a lot of cool stuff. For those that don't know, tell us the name came from. Um, well, it doesn't sound like the typical catering name um well mama uh, -huh. uh shamber my mom originally mama vaquero um is the inspiration okay. it's called yo mamas uh the twitter is yo mama's truck okay. um the website is yo mama caters.com uh-huh so yo mama just kind of a play on the old uh Yo MTV raps, kind of okay. hip hop, our generation, kind of okay. just fun. Just it's and it's maybe just fun. maybe it breaks people out. I, I'm just thinking of the people that are calling in to to hire you as a catering service to go. Yeah, we'd like to hire you. Maybe it's a bit more fun for them now because yeah. they're like Yo Mama. So yeah, yeah, sure. Instead yeah, of it being something yeah. generic or really, we love Yo Mama. You know our bumper stickers, love Yo Mama. Right. All this. So it's yeah, no, it's just cool. It's just I mean, it's just laid back, and that's just how we run our business. It's just. Not hoity-toity. I mean, we've done some of those events, but for the most part, it's it's laid back and fun. Right. Yeah. And then that goes into a, a company that was, I, I guess, established for quite a while, which was... It was. It's 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 Midnight Munchies. Okay. Um, MidnightMunchies.com. It's uh, Munchies, M-U-N-C-H-E-E-Z. Right. MidnightMunchies.com. They, uh, they had been in Orange County for a little over five years when, unfortunately... A uh, friend of mine, the uh, previous owner, had a heart attack. Oh, okay. Um, after having twins, uh, he had a heart attack and was forced to um, sell the business. Okay. So I swooped in. I brought Joey Francia in, who's in the studio with us right now. Uh, he's the financial back. He's got he's got mortgage finance background, and okay. as me me being a kitchen restaurant manager type of guy, I needed that. But that. but you also probably came together. You know, he handles what he does. You handle what you it's, do, and it seems exactly. like a. It would be a, a good pairing. It's a, it's a great fit. It's a great fit. But Midnight Munchies has been around for five years. They specialize in uh, late night eats. Um, we actually have uh, a grandfathered in uh, liquor license. It's a, 
we're allowed to deliver beer and wine up until two o'clock in the morning. Wow. So, and we, we cover Huntington Beach, Costa Mesa, and Newport, and uh, are in the process of uh, franchising that, branding that, and that's what we're working with Aaron Regelis and some others that's on branding it. Nice. Uh, now, you were, you, you were saying that it was uh, grandfathered in. Is that a difficult thing to it's, get? It's very okay. difficult. Because of that, we have to stay within Costa Mesa for our initial location. Um, okay. The initial process was literally a year for them to get this this liquor license. Wow. They actually have a cigarette license. They can deliver any kind of retail goods. Um, everything's baked. Or everything's made in house, fresh. Um, they have a couple uh, um, hotels that we do exclusive room service for and stuff like that. So and really it, cool concept, really unique concept. It is really uh, cool and unique because it is it is literally midnight munchies because like the hours are from what nine p.m. to three a.m. Um, our main business starts eight or nine o'clock at night, and we will crank until about four or five in the morning on on Friday, Saturdays, and uh, sometimes Sundays. Um, obviously, Huntington's known for the U.S. Open, wow. AVP. Sure. Uh, their Fourth of July, you know, they do 60 million people annually, which right. is is more than Vegas, more than you know, it's it's crazy. So yeah, they specialize in the in the late night aspect. So it's the late night, and but weekend only, or is no? It... Um, I mean, initially, yeah, they go seven days a week. We're working on uh, cutting that back because Mondays and Tuesdays, I'm. I'm getting into the logistics with Joey, and we're finding out the days that were really slow for them and the products, and it's kind of you know doing the doing the. I guess the analytics more more sure. or less for the business, and sure. we're probably going to end up closing down Mondays and Tuesdays, and we'll run Wednesday through Sunday, with exception to those big weeks like AVP, U.S. Open, right. stuff like that. You'll extend it for those types of exactly, things. Exactly, exactly. Hmm. And we're going to incorporate our food truck into into the business so that we can bring midnight munchies to different areas, you know, Fullerton, Anaheim, where there's some for campuses and sure. some other different events like that. So now, with it being so difficult to get this kind of licensing where you currently are, and you wanting to franchise out, are you expecting it to be as difficult it's it's going to be tough um the beautiful thing about what jared jones did the previous owner who's a good buddy of mine and i have to give him a shout out um is he was smart and he built relationships with the high schools he built relationships with mad he built relationships with all the police forces within the area right all the city people everybody loves him they endorse him he's amazing guy um so yeah we're gonna have to start at ground level with the, with the different cities that we go into um but because of the proven concept, we don't think it's going to be as difficult as it was originally for him. I like the concept. I, I liked the concept of, of, I guess, back in the day, there was a company called Pink Dot. Uh, Pink Dot's still in L.A. They, are they yeah. still around? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, you drive by these their stores, and but you couldn't ever go in them. They were all, like, closed off, but they delivered yeah. all sorts of different things to people's houses. And I was wondered why we didn't have something like that here and in Vegas. A, and there's a handful of places in LA and Orange County and Vegas that'll go to different restaurants and pick up your food and bring sure, it to like you. Sure, food on the run or whatever. Exactly, but we do everything in-house and we... Yeah. And, and that does make it unique. You you do everything there and you can kind of handle the quality control yeah. and you never really have it... Uh, I mean, if you tarnish your name, it's you doing it rather than yeah. you delivering a, a and product. We have, and we have a couple hundred retail items, condoms and stuff like that for of that whole crowd. That, right? Because... <laughs> You always got to throw that in with the booze, right? You have to. You have to. It's yeah. They go, they go hand in hand, except you know, you're like, I don't have one, and then you got to wait how long to get one? Exactly. <laughs> Forty five minutes. You're like, oh, yeah. Geez. A burger and a condom. <laughs> yeah, we do beer pong supplies and stuff for like the Newport Huntington crowd. It's 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 really cool. It's so now you're melding the two, Yo Mamas and uh, and Midnight, Midnight Munchies. Munchies, correct? And so will it have a new name, or it's, is it just kind we of... we have incorporated uh, Yo Mamas Midnight Munchies? Basically. Okay, so it'll incorporate both the names yeah, in there. Exactly. And you added an apostrophe. Yeah. Not not reinventing <laughs> the wheel, just throwing yeah. some twenty eights on it and shining it up. Sure. And <laughs> and because there are people that know both brands and they want to deal with both. Exactly. And Midnight Munchies has a. They've been around. They have a you know A plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Yelp reviews are amazing. Um, they have, you know, over 6,000 people on their, on their Facebook, Midnight Munchies. And so, you know, we don't want to take from that. We want to run with that. Do you see then you doing Midnight Catering, that kind of a concept? Um, ultimately, we're going to do the Yo Mama's Catering um, out of the facility because it is a full gourmet kitchen. Sure. Um, that's basically closed down during the day. So we're okay. going to utilize our food trucks out of, uh, out of the kitchen during the day um, and at night still stay with the Midnight Munchies brand. Nice. So then we spin from there on to some other projects and mm -hmm. we can spin into this this bad boy yeah yeah i uh a part of my entourage today is two passion projects um magnifico uh b magnifico diamond brands um i brought uh rebecca adalco who is the uh 
sales director, basically. Um, she's been, she helped launch the brand. Um, it's a very unique product. Um, I haven't had seen anything on, you know, on the planet like it. It's uh, three essence for, for people that aren't in the industry, it's infused champagne, okay. basically. And I'll let Rebecca kind of touch on the product itself. Please, Rebecca, let's tell us more about Thank Magnifico. Thank you for having us. We are, um, our parent company is Diamond Brands. Uh, Magnifico Giornata, we, our slogan or little uh, catchphrase is, we are not your ordinary champagne. We have three all naturally infused essences from France. We're bottled in Bordeaux. We have a ginger pêche, which is an Italian, pêche is an Italian word for peach, mm -hmm. uh, a grapefruit blanc and a lavender honey. Uh, we have half the carbonation of traditional champagne, so it doesn't burn going down or give you the little burps, you know, us girls. We don't want to do that. Is that because of the infusion? Um, it's the way they engineered the um, the product. Okay. They wanted to keep it half the carbonation, so it's an easy drinking. It's basically our finished cocktail. It's not sweet. It's smooth. Uh, our demographic is stay-at-home moms, company-driven moms, uh, single girls. It's a it's our demographic is women any 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 type of uh, field and. Yeah, as, as you can see, the presentation is gorgeous. Yeah, it's, um, uh, it's it, a witch bottle. You know, uh, our price point is way below the Doms and the Crystals, mm -hmm. but our presentation is right up there with them. It is. Um, the peach makes an amazing Bellini, amazing mimosa. Uh, so, I mean, it's just a phenomenal product. We're we're really grain, gaining a lot of momentum with the, with the ladies' night and uh, and the by the glass, uh, like the sea legs and place like that, really embracing our product just because it is, it is amazing. Um, our society is kind of going into the whole pre-mixed um, thing with spirits and wines. Sure. So there's a lot of products out there that are pre-mixed sex on the beach. Uh, you know, our buddy X XB, with sex, he's got a sex on the beach product that's just pre-mixed. It's all natural well, juices. Okay. And then these that are just, you know, pre-mixed. You know, you don't have to add anything to them, and they're just phenomenal. So, Rebecca, for somebody that doesn't necessarily drink, uh, well, like myself, but... In general, uh, anyone that maybe not doesn't uh, go with champagne as their first choice. I, the reason I'm bringing this up is I had somebody in here that had tequila, and I they're like, I don't care if you don't drink. You're if you drink this, you're gonna enjoy it. I'm like, I, that's a hard push. Come on. Right. But uh, you know, tell us a, a bit more about. That's what, funny. That's Rebecca's background. I yeah, I actually come from the tequila world. Okay. Um, two great uh, brands and kind of prepared me for uh, Magnifico Giornata. Um, I get that all the time as I'm tasting. Um, People say, "Wow, I'm not a I'm not a champagne drinker, but I really love this." Right. So it is pretty tasty. It's a fun product. It's beautiful. The bottle's amazing. It just makes looking at it makes you want to drink it, but it tastes awesome. I I've had champagne a few times, and I've uh, I guess I've had the luxury of having Dom Perignon, and I've had others, but that was the only one. And I'm not trying to sound like snotty, but it was the only one that I really actually enjoyed. Right. I. I but I couldn't tell you why that was, you know, because I'm not an aficionado by any means. Uh, so for the novice out there that wants to try uh, different champagnes and that sort of thing, what would you say is the, the determining factor which they can kind of notice and, and a taste which uh, makes one different than the other or one better than the other? Right. Well, one of the things is we call it affordable luxury. Okay. So our price point um, is not super uh, expensive. It's affordable, but it's also not um, inexpensive. So it's kind of right in the middle. It gives it's a we basically have a product that's all on its own. Okay. Um, and you know, with all like Aaron said, all the flavored vodkas and uh, rums and whatnot. Uh, our vision, our owner's vision, was to create something that was high end, that was we could be proud of displaying the bottle or giving as a gift um and that's basically where the concept came from affordable luxury do all of the different flavors uh, have the same bottle appearance all the flavors have the same or the essences have the same appearance okay. um our lavender honey has a purple tag ah. our grapefruit blanc has a uh, white and black tag and our ginger pêche has a orange uh or a peach colored uh tag um all that would three. be this one mm -hmm. And the pink? All three are a little bit, um, very, well, actually, they're very, very different. Our grapefruit blanc is very citrusy and crisp and clean. The uh, ginger pêche is a little bit fruity and savory on the back end. And we have a wonderful floral lavender honey that is, uh, I love to drink it as our dessert champagne. Okay. And uh, in 
when when I was talking to Alicia, the, the it seems like the wine bars are really taking off. So that's really your demographic, as you were saying, uh, to get it into those establishments right. because she was telling me it's like 80% women in there. I yes, mean, absolutely. try not to like give away the secret, you know, you want <laughs> yeah, no. tons of guys right, hitting right. it up, but uh, I mean, that's... That's why this is a passion project for sure. me. <laughs> I, I can, <laughs> that's why it, it's the only one of the things that you put your name on, right? Love you, honey. <laughs> yeah. We're really excited about the product. We've um, now been able to uh, get into the MGM Grand. We're available at all the kiosks and um, anywhere that alcohol is sold. We have um, several of the high-end suites at the MGM Grand also feature uh, Magnifico Gironata. But you can find it online at um, www.bemagnifico, that's B-E-M-A-G-N-I-F-I-C-O.com. Okay. If you want to uh, just click a link, too, you can go to the JeremyWilmakeShow.com. Uh, arrive there and you'll see uh, a profile for Aaron and uh, for Yo Mamas is in there, yeah. uh, Midnight Munchies in there, and also Magnifico. Yeah, just a quick note, yes, yes, um, the reason that we're in is for the Las Vegas nightclub and bar show. Yeah, it's a huge um, show out here. Yeah, we're going to be partnering up with uh, Perfect Vodka at uh, booth 376. Okay. Um, in so the if main you're listening hall. and you want to uh, head over to the convention hall and see them, they'll be at uh, booth 376, correct? 376, Okay. correct. You can come taste it and... Obviously available for uh, for tastings at your venue. Also, you can a Christiansen at bmagnifico dot com. And you were saying that um, for those living in Las Vegas, because people can hear this everywhere, but uh, for those living in Las Vegas, they can specifically go to any liquor outlet. Out um, here we or? are, yeah. We we have recently jumped on board with uh, Southern Wine and Spirits, which is one of the largest sure, distributors sure, here yeah. in here in Las Vegas with the casinos. Um, right now, our product is just in the MGM, but that's going to change real soon. You can go log on to our website. Oh, yeah. We have a store locator, so any um, of our uh, buyers and uh, venues, they put you just type in your little zip code, and it'll locate us. Yeah, we got a, we got a highly vo motivated uh, local rep that's going to be taking over the town. Hopefully, that's awesome. And uh, and you have Ricky Jane with us today. This is a this is a true passion Yay. project right here. This is this is my brother from another mother right now. We've known each other for what ten years, something like that. A little bit, a little, little bit. And give us a little background a bit, on. Uh, it's Ricky. been about a week, really. About, yeah, at least a week. Not, right. Not I'll let I'll let I'll let um, at Twitter official Ricky J uh, speak on it. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, introduce me. yourself. Oh, yeah. Introduction, <laughs> <Yeah>. brother. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the questions. That's all I'm waiting for. Oh yeah, we uh, I'm we, for the we did no the uh, we did the industry launch with uh, quite a few bottles at the bank last night. Uh, <laughs> thank <laughs> you, Kalika, Jack, and uh, Sir Pierce for all the fireballs. Uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah, it was an early oh morning. JT too. Early morning. Early morning. Yeah, that's that's, that's one I'm, way to put it. I'm just coming to support. I do music. Like I'm, you know, I got two gold records in Canada and. Now I'm working on a new label called Orbit 21 Entertainment. Okay. We're trying to get this new single off the ground. Aaron's been a good friend of mine and the whole team, you know, so I'm coming out to support, drink some champagne. Yeah, it's, some... It, it's all politics in the States, so we're just trying to get some momentum, keep an independent, you know, keep him independent for the most part. Sure. He's got record labels knocking on his door, but independent's the way to go so that we can uh, fill our pocketbooks. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, it is the way to go. I mean, it, that's the way you... It's a catch-22. It is the way to go, but it's the hardest way it's to go. It's the hardest way so... to go. Being an entrepreneur in general, that yeah, is the it, hardest <laughs> thing to do, you know? There's, there's nothing easy today. Nope. Just, no, so just wanted to come out, you know, for the... For the the show out here and sure. support them and drink some free booze. Yeah, he's gonna you know. he's gonna be piggybacking me, uh, Magnifico and supporting our product and obviously supporting Midnight Munchies and and Yo Mama's Catering. Uh, he's been a huge supporter of mine for years and vice versa. Yeah. So and will you be at the booth as well? Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll just uh, we'll be floating I mean, around. I, okay, as long as I get some take. What I, can I get, Rebecca? Can I get some drinks? And, Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I want to support the brand. Flow of you know, it's, it's, not. it's very important me doing music. I have to enjoy what I, you know, what yeah. I'm talking about. Enough. I'm sure. going to talk yeah, about I was, champagne. I want. I want. I want to taste the best stuff. We got to pop some bottles, yes, Ricky. Yes, we, we will. I'm going gonna, gonna to give uh, Jeremy and George one of his CDs that was actually awesome. produced in yeah. Canada. But I was just in the studio with him recently, and he's got some songs coming out that are just going to be ridiculous. Uh, RickyJ.com. He's uh, he's hopefully household name soon. Gonna, I'm gonna have a 976 number soon. Are because, you? Yeah, I just want. I really want to reach Those out. Are still to a thing. I didn't know it was still a thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, we're just working on music and uh -huh. just I'm out here in Vegas, LA, just you know trying to get everybody to understand what I'm trying to do. And I'm that fun guy. I, I DJ as well, so cool. yeah, I'm not DJ Tiesto, host. but I'm more like the party rocker. I play the EDM, the pop, the hip hop, but at the same time, yeah. host the party. Mr. Which, Cabo, he's a Cabo yeah. resident. Nice. And, uh, I was just in Mexico for. 
last two weeks. So yeah. that's the tan. That that is the yeah. That's the light tan. People think I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, what? I'm, I'm not Puerto Rican. I mean, not, not to say anything wrong with that. But I'm like, I'm Canadian. I'm like Bulgarian and Russian and a bunch of stuff. So, but it, it's, it's fine. Puerto Ricans fine. in Canada. After a few of those, you know, the, the champagne. DJ and, Hines 57 over here. Just stay Gitticos. away from wearing the suits, and you'll be good. Yeah, exa exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just really out here to you know support them, Magnifico, and you know Midnight Munchies and Joey and Aaron. You know, they're they're good dudes. They're hard workers. Yeah. And I know they're local, and you support all the yeah. local guys. So I'm kind of like a part-time local now. So I'm gonna get the part-time love and go back to LA nice. and back and forth. So just you know, doing the music, RickyJ.com. Gonna get some stuff on iTunes and hopefully be at radio very soon. Yeah, just working all the. We, I want it to be perfect. So official Ricky J on Twitter. Yep. Um, my, yeah, he's 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 like, I'm, if I go for president, this is the guy that's gonna be my. Yeah, my Ricky, make sure to here. get everything out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, check, miss. yeah exactly. check out the uh, check out the video on RickyJ.com. One drop. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah, I, got, I got a bunch uh, of. I've, I've been at it for a while. I was on bad girls club season nine in mexico because they saw me in mexico so i know how to put my foot in the door sure i just like to keep it like you know like these guys they're, they're building something on an independent level right which is not not always the easiest route but you know it has the most rewards at the end of the day right once you get to that day <laughs> it is why i do this show because i can say and do whatever exactly, i want exactly i can have whoever i want on the show and talk about whatever i yeah. want so uh, does it make it more difficult to become you know I don't want ever want to be a Ryan Seacrest, but I mean to get I guess to that level, sure. But I if I'm doing it myself, then I keep everything. So. Yeah, exactly. uh, we love what you're doing. Love Thanks. what you're doing. I, I mean, so. supported the previous show, and this is awesome. So, really so just fun. It. You guys seem like a bunch of fun guys. I like the glasses on you. A bunch <laughs> of fun guys. A bunch nice. of mushrooms Swag. up in this house, huh? Swagtastic. And, That's uh, George's uh, trademark. He doesn't take them off. Never no, take the sunglasses <laughs> off. <laughs> so why, why? He has a great voice. Let me tell you. Yeah, uh, let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> George behind the mic. 25 years I've been doing this. <laughs> Robin Quivers over here in the <laughs> no, um, no that's about it man like you know Aaron said hey come out let's talk on a radio show and I was like cool I'll call one of my business partners I'm like hey I'm gonna do the talk radio thing I'm in Vegas and I appreciate it and the more people that get out there and push what he's doing what Rebecca's doing with Joe I mean it's just everybody's just helping we need to help each other. Have you been to the nightclub and bar show before? No, this is gonna be my first run at it. Well, yeah. I mean, I've been oh, to the no. I've been to the bars we, uh, and the nightclubs. <laughs> You're not gonna have a, a problem drinking any kind of alcohol. Trust me, <laughs> no, everyone's no, no, gonna be no, shoving it in your face. It, it, it's networking, Jeremy. Uh -huh. Come on, oh, networking. Yeah. networking. This is the term networking. for this week. Networking. Why didn't you set networking. the show up there so we can talk? <laughs> yeah, let's go drink. mobile. Let's go mobile I mean, Wednesday and Thursday. We'll bring you to the booth. We can actually do mobile. So let's go. Let's go. We'll bring you to the booth. I don't know. I don't know how great of a show that's gonna be. I wanted to. I wanted to bring Ricky out because we had tons of success with magic and stuff like that in the past sure. so it's just you know it, this is the place where all the nightclub owners come to one spot and like you said he hosts cdjs he does it also i'm a jack-in-the-box i just do whatever do whatever do whatever. Whatever. Jack whatever in the box. Box. jack of all trades is what jack he of all trades. Well, i'm a jack in the box you know, I'm, I'm that fun guy that comes out you know, like, you know you're a fun guy, guy too I'm, I'm the spring guy and, I'm, <laughs> and i come out the box and jack in the box jack of all trades hey listen uh, guys enough talking about jacking and it, all that it, it was a very <laughs> early morning it was very early for me well that's what uh, aaron was saying before yeah. you came on the show is that you were go out until what 6 a.m we did um yeah know. we he were gonna to. leave at one he was gonna leave well, at no, one. i was on my way out okay. when, Actually, he yeah. was stumbling i was walking in and he was stumbling out i was like he's like what are you doing here i'm like i'm going in so his That's whole a very good impression so of i did a u-turn <laughs> and went for round two at the he table did a human u-turn right back to the club uh -huh. i was trying to follow taffer back to his penthouse and I, this guy drove i me thought back the convention in. started in the club so i was like well i'm, I'm already <laughs> there <laughs> you won't see any difference when you go to the the convention i tasted a lot of alcohol last night did, to did, say the did, least you, you know you did your due diligence established brands though <laughs> <laughs> can't wait to try the new stuff tomorrow <laughs> are there plans for this tonight too or um yeah plans? they have the uh, hard rock which has been rebranded for the budweiser hotel this weekend for the okay. convention they're doing their big kickoff party tonight at seven bunch of stuff down on fremont uh marquee's the big big one tonight um and then it's business quote unquote uh wednesday Networking. and thursday is Networking. is when the actual expo Networking. opens up <laughs> Okay, and so the, the the basic reason that you're coming out here is because by you coming out here with your brand, you get to talk directly to the club owners and, and the yeah. liquor outlets and things like that. Everybody's so, in one place. Yeah. I've got I've got Joey out. He's he's going to be looking for different products that'll actually bring Midnight Munchies and Yokaters to that next level. Us will be talking to strategic partners to get Magnifico out there. Right. I, I do look forward to a Midnight Munchies being in Las Vegas. We're working on it. Um, I see your skinny fats over there. I'm talking to, to Reed Allen and, and Aaron and all that kind of stuff. And 
we might have some time to shop some locations, but we're probably about six months from from Vegas or anything okay. like that right now. So cool. What what more can you tell me about the the champagne? Are you, you having more infusions uh, coming out? We or? are coming out with some secret products. Okay. <laughs> Still a little bit it's under the wraps, but we are coming. We are going to launch a uh, t- a few. It's basically a spa line, but the, we're okay. going to re we're going to release them little by little. So it's a um, good idea. Yeah. yeah. So like you know these products are doing amazing. We're kind of running with them now, um, but we do have some awesome things in the works. So Diamond soon as Brands I know. out of La Jolla, San Diego is going to have a full portfolio, so to speak, soon enough. And is it just going to be champagne, or are you going to run the spectrum of? We're not sure yet. Okay, <laughs> it's under wraps. Okay. Wink, I'm wink. Hitting, I'm hitting all these hard-hitting <laughs> questions. I'm There's a there. red dot on my head right now. Yeah, I right, cannot say right. anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Robert. Uh, yeah. Much love, John. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you're going to do the show today. Any other plans while you're out here? I mean, is it just the show? Is it, you're going to hit all the clubs and... Networking. Networking. I, I, you keep calling it that, but I know it's not. It's really partying. I got it. I got it. Drink working. We're just Drink all work. happy hey, to be uh, out and Let about. me tell you, Magnifico is better than coffee in the morning. I learned that this morning. Is so it? It is. It? it is. I endorse it. Hi, George? <laughs> Are you a coffee drinker? Am I a coffee drinker? No, nah, I don't drink coffee anymore. Well, we've got a, we got some branded glasses for you guys over here. So if you guys want to try it, I know Jeremy won't, but George. I might try it just to try it. Let me take a little sip. Yeah, I can okay. It's low calorie. Oh, well, there you go. 100 calories <laughs> per glass. That's, that's sold <laughs> me. Give me a case. <laughs> Is that what it was? <laughs> just give me a case. I don't care that's, about the alcohol. That's your new diet plan, right? <laughs> <laughs> don't eat, just drink. Yeah, that's it. Don't eat, just drink. <laughs> I don't know how well it will uh, go with the munchies part, but... Uh... Well, You'd be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of times with the munchies comes the thirsties. Okay. <laughs> they want to keep it going. You do want to keep it going. But yeah. Well, I, I, I want to have you on the whole hour, so you got to give me some more to talk about here. Oh, I yeah. mean, we want to. I want. You can't tell me a, a whole bunch, but I. You know, one of the things that I always thought would would be. You mentioned the spa line. I thought would be. You know, why I thought this? I don't know, but uh, you know, retail stores uh when women go shopping right that would be a, a, a good right. you can right they call that off premise off premise we wanted to create a product that um like i said as a female if you're going to a bridal shower a baby shower you know a bachelorette party we right. wanted to create a product that we can sit down and hang out pop a bottle enjoy with our girlfriends it tastes good it's fun it's a sexy product. We, you know, they they wanted to create something that we would be proud of, and right. and that's basically where the concept came from. But we are coming out with some cool things. Um, it, there's there's a uh, talks of us coming out with a uh, rosé champagne, so we're really excited about that. Okay. As it stands now, we just have the sparkling whites. So. We have some uh, gorgeous presentations, gift boxes, and whatnot mm-hmm. with the with the three different flavors. We also have a. Uh, uh, MGM and all the retail locations carry our 375, which is the smaller bottle, the half bottles. That's the size. No, this no, is this 750. Is 750, okay. That's the big boy. And so we got the half size at um, pretty much every retail spot in, in uh, MGM, which we was well fo- photographed by all of us this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was awesome to see Magnifico Giornata's half bottles in a Coca-Cola In a Coca-Cola cooler. Cooler. <laughs> really? I thought that was pretty amazing. Yeah, it is pretty amazing. And, <laughs> and I brought some uh, uh, peach puree, which we're going to try later. The peach with the peach is supposed to be pretty phenomenal as a Bellini. So. And Bellini. You guys, yeah. you guys found my cooler? <laughs> That's, I left it. I left it. I, I that's what cooler. happened was that's, that's my cooler. The peach stuff and all that. That, that bubbly's mine. Mm-hmm. All right, just, I've got plenty for you there, Thirsty. Right. Make making thirst sure. Lots. Making sure. Are you gonna pour? Is okay. that the peach? We're gonna, we're gonna pop the peach first. Peach. Pop the peach. Is first. that one this morning? Huh? Is this? Uh, yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. we're in Nevada. We could do this. We're, we're allowed, right? We're in Vegas. Oh, we're good. Yeah. We're, this yeah, is inter- know, this is internet sure. radio. Oh, we're you good. can do whatever we're you good. want. We're good. We're good. We, you can say whatever you want. Too. Hey, Joey, you can say something. You're like the mute men. Say hi. <laughs> Joey, say hi. Joey, don't be shy. Hope everybody's having a good time today in Vegas. <laughs> Joey. yeah. Joey's actually been here since Thursday night. He was what what a catcher for Baker to yeah. Vegas, which was the big police oh, yeah. run. He, they do that he's all been the here time. since Thursday. Yeah, for uh, which is Valley PD. Shout out to DJ Drew Pierce, who's actually one of the residents for Baker to Vegas, one of our good friends, one of our endorsers of our products. So. That's an insane run. It's, <laughs> that's why they have catchers at the end. Literally, these guys catch them at the end Poppin because they, they fall. fall flat. Wow. They fall flat. You literally mean catcher. He was yeah. a catcher. Yeah, they, they, I think the, the shortest leg is what four miles and the longest leg i think is 10. yeah mm-hmm. it's insane and it's in the it's at the middle in the middle of the night too it's All, pitch yeah. black out yeah. there so it's, it's a good thing it's in the middle at, of the night uh, it, starts at, it starts at noon uh-huh. on uh saturday wow ends about 4 30 in the morning on sunday wow 
That's crazy. So you got one for here. Let's grab that. Give that to George or whatever or whatever. George, just we got your drink right there. We got six, so I, I definitely need one over here. And Jeremy's it's, gonna. It looks so Needs lovely. a taster. Now, are these your own glasses? This as is well? our glassware. This. Uh, it's pretty cool looking. This presentation. That's our logo. Our, this presentation comes in our. Uh, we have these I really like gorgeous uh, branded black gift boxes that'll. You know, you put all three bottles in with a couple pieces of glassware. For the baby showers and for the wedding gifts and all that kind of stuff. So all it is a really service. gorgeous, yeah, yeah, bottle service. It's a great presentation. Yep. Yeah, We've it's got a, the branded buckets, ice buckets and everything. We've got the all the swag line. you could, yeah, you could think of. And for those that yeah, might want to know, the, the design of the glass, uh, any reason for it? Well, um, compared to obviously a different the uh, champagne flute, flutes, yeah. well, when you're sometimes when you're carrying or, uh, you know, a tray of champagne flutes or sure. you're, you have a table, they tend to knock over pretty easy because so the we, stem. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we like I love the stemless uh, glassware that they're using for wine. So sure. they thought, why not come out with a stemless uh, champagne flute? So it's Where's yours, pretty sir? awesome. I'm uh, it's in route. <laughs> <laughs> you like yours with extra foam, right? right. <laughs> Thanks for the head, Joey. <laughs> Joey's going straight out of the bottle. <laughs> he is. He's hitting it right back. And I we do I have a, a three bottle combos and two bottle okay. combos and single bottle combos on our website that you can purchase, and that they do. Some of them do come with glasses. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, um, and that. free shipping through in the United States. Really? Look at George. Website. He's already ha attacking it. I know. He's like, I, I, enough of this talking <laughs> stuff. I'm going to drink it. I know, it's I actually damn good. It, it actually is good. really and good. I did not drive here. I just want any LAPD <laughs> listening or, or, or yeah, in Nevada, and, uh, please. I did not drive here. The great here. thing, Ricky, hey, is I'm that you're not on film right now. Uh, the, the, it's fine. They don't the, know who I am. The studio is located <laughs> at the MGM. We're going to go walk right up to our room afterwards. <laughs> They're all going I'm five home today. foot four, very, <laughs> very white, Puerto Rican, very, very white. long <laughs> hair, very, very long hair, a lot of facial hair. And you wear spectacles. That's right, spectacles. Big, like, Coke bottles. Beard Sachi. Coke bottles, yes, exactly. Now, this is the peach, right? This That's is the peach. peach. It's a very peachy. Peach guys. on the front, ginger in the back. And Great it's stuff. Okay. It's, it's it nice? really good. It is good. Really good. I will... It's very soft, easy to drink. It goes down nice. And, it uh, does. And, I, and I know somebody that drank like four bottles the other night and didn't have a hangover the next day. I, he, I wish he could be here with us, but uh, <laughs> <Wasn't me. laughs> not this guy. <laughs> not this guy. <laughs> and I would say for somebody that really, I, I really don't drink. It's very good. It, it doesn't. It doesn't have a like a harsh taste to it. That I've a lot of the before. champagnes, a lot of the dry, the brutes and stuff like that, really do have that. It, your palate. Right, right. that it's bite rough, at the end is just rough, not. Right. This is smooth, very smooth. And like we said, we're going to that pre-mixed market where you yeah. can you can drink this just straight up. But it's also awesome as a mimosa or, yeah. you know, with a little peach And you puree. lightly taste the peach. It's not, like, overpowering. Well, what is, um, three days prior to bottling, they put the... Yes, three days before we cork it um, in Bordeaux, our winery is in Bordeaux, France. Um, three days before we co cork it, uh, it's sitting and it's being infused with all natural peaches our, and, and ginger and then obviously our lavender honey and our grapefruit blanc. Wow. And then it's corked. So there's, n there's no added sugars or syrups. It's not sweet and thick. It is all natural. It's amazing. So then when you're doing the, the Bellini, it's not going to be really, I mean, because it's overpowering. Right. Yeah. That yeah cool. I mean, yeah, the majority of the peach flavor is going to come from the peach sure. puree, but you're That's still cool. going to catch the little bit of peach on the champagne. And again, uh, for novice of alcohol, there's the there's a, a beer brand out there that has their own glasses. Uh, is it Stella? Stella. 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 Yeah. Um, so even it, even like Sam Adams and stuff, they're coming out with their own glassware. Similar concept, I guess. I mean, do you want to directly well, pair it with it? No, or? actually, what their concept behind the uh, glass was is that they thought, you know, a lot of companies will give out keychains and okay. lip glosses and uh, you know, squeezy balls. You know, trying to promote Who doesn't their like stupid your swag. Balls? Um, Who doesn't yeah. like stress squeezy. ball? Why you drink? Koozie. We've got branded Xanax. It's cool. Did she say that again? So, um, squeezy, squeezy ball. ball. Yeah. Say it slower. Right. Rebecca's squeezy the only girl ball. in the room right now. Magnifico's <laughs> going very, yeah, very. I'm in a room with like eight boys <laughs> men that's what you get for saying squeezy balls squeezy it's ball. your own fault try our brand of <laughs> that went right try over my head squeezy <laughs> balls it's like I Magnifico squeezy, squeezy balls, balls. <laughs> the girls never laugh <laughs> that would be a good commercial though Magnifico Joey get off my squeezy right. ball so they wanted to create something that <laughs> these boys sorry boys that's hey Christopher okay. Walken leave my squeezy <laughs> ball alone <laughs> squeezy balls and lava <laughs> started Christopher Walken just came in the studio did you see that he just it's, it's magnificent quick. Go. It, it turns my my emotion. It, it's actually really really good. I'm being honest. Like I'm not going to kiss your ass. You just said squeezy <laughs> balls. But, uh, it's actually pretty good. I mean, anybody listening, go pick up a case. He's or a two bottle pop wow. aficionado it's, too. Yeah. It, it's very good. I, I mean, 
Champagne, right? Like Christmas. Yeah. Wow, and, and, champagne. Uh, and even though there's flavor in it, if you had a champagne shower, you're not going to get sticky. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and no one likes getting sticky after <laughs> no, a shower. That's, well, it depends. <laughs> I guess it depends who you are. It depends if they get squeezy talk? balls or not. It's, We're going to get Krill in here. He's going to spray everybody with this stuff. Let's go. <laughs> George is like, no. Oh, it's like all crap. No, not that. <laughs> God. Say one little thing and they just run with I mean, my that's, squeezy but that's, ball. That's the great thing about the champagne in this talk show. It makes you fun. We can do whatever we want to do. That's right. You can say squeezy balls as much as you want. Okay. Squeezy balls. So, <laughs> Magnifico, <laughs> on like, to it. It's like, like really really why we have these glasses. Why we have these glasses. I'm Rebecca just sitting here squirming in my chair. So, <laughs> I'm an outsider. This I've never I'm seen a Latina glasses. turn that red. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I could turn this red. I'm pretty dark, I, too. I didn't know you it's could like say squeezy balls. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know you could say squeezy, squeezy balls. But this is... You can say hashtag squeezy balls. Be Magnifico. Be Magnifico. Be all you can be, Magnifico. Sorry, balls. boss. I'm hoping my boss is not listening to this. I mean, if he He's going to go, if, Rebecca, squeezy balls? But, really? But, but you, blame, me, blame, blame the artist. Blame the artist. It's I'll be always like, okay to blame Ricky. Listen, I'm, I'm coming in as an artist. artistic. I mean artistic. I'm, I'm coming in as an artist. You guys are good. You guys, I'm everybody artistic. can buy this. Yeah, I'm, I'm not autistic. Artistic. This, this is getting, hey, now, now we're going to have some problems. I'm, 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 I'm this, I, it's, it's not me. It's the champagne. It's this magnificent. If you want to have some magnificent fun, drink right here magnificent. Go. Magnifico. Hold on, so your, magnifico. Hel your helmet's in the shot. Move it over. Uh, <laughs> Listen, his, his my God. cover is yellow. Oh, so. no, it is, God. It is, oh my God! Put oh, me in the game, God. coach. <laughs> Put me in the game. Um, no, You're jealous. You got nothing on this show, buddy. She, she she wants to go to business. She's like, but um, this, the sales point and and well, I'm leave telling you, me put alone them. Alone already. Listen, no, it, it's gonna work. We're gonna put the champagne with the logo on some squeezy balls in every case, <laughs> and it's like a stress reliever. And I'd be like, oh What's man, the, uh, I like the champagne. I'll think of you, Ricky. Squeezy balls and Rebecca, <laughs> booth 376, nightclub and bar convention. So, listen, everybody can pick up the champagne, drink, and then they can listen to my music, and then they'll like my music. Exactly. So it, it works. Is that out what even. it's going to take for them to like it? No, I mean, no, I, I no, think no. no I'm just, not. you know, I'm, I'm kind of little. He's very humble. <laughs> humble. He's very He's humble. Very, that's good. I'm very humble. That's good. Because <laughs> my ass. <laughs> yeah. He's the um, boy next door, right? Ricky? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. At Ricky J. Yeah. At Ricky J. Yeah. Official Ricky J. Hashtag humble. Hashtag humble with squeezy balls. No, that should, be the, that should be the hashtag, Squeezy I Balls. This is a fun oh. show. You see, now I'm having fun. Everybody's, you know, liven it up. It's because you cracked the bottle. Your, bo job, your boss will be and very I... happy. Cause yeah, because I said Squeezy Balls. Our sexy cocktail here, Joey. I'm yeah. He's drinking out of the bottle. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's not fair. He's knocking the There's bottle back. Nobody else so Did you have another bottle? You're drinking out the bottle. Now I can't have another glass. This is grapefruit blanc. You got some plenty for you. I hope I hope you don't have any hate mail because of this Squeezy Balls. or We will have none. They will actually be very excited about No, it's just I'm seeing. I'm seeing, my Canadian, I'm seeing Canadian. I'm seeing Canadian comments pop up. Canadian, Canadian, Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> well, this okay. is a good show. This is, uh, this is... <laughs> so Rebecca, that's going right to yes, Facebook. Back, back how about, Rebecca, how about how about them glasses? You made the cut, Joey. <laughs> Joey. Okay, so the story behind our glasses, uh -huh. beside the squeezy balls, uh -huh. we've already gotten there. Um, it was brilliant, actually. They decided to come up with something that is that you're actually going to take home and use. Right. So it's you know it's a beautiful glass. You want you want to pull it out when you pop a bottle of anything, whether you're popping a bottle of of white wine or sparkling wine. Hopefully, it's Magnifico Giornata. But um, it's in your home. You're thinking about it. You pull it out. You look at the glass, and you're like, Oh yeah, I had fun with that glass. Right. You know, and we had a good time, and that's hopefully what. Uh, Oh, here we go again with another. <laughs> There's a, I just keep listen, they're sticking gig my feet in my mouth. They keep they're giggling because they hear. Uh, with that said, I'm gonna take my glass back to the room <laughs> now. <laughs> champagne and all sorts of stuff. Champagne flute Time five, to have yeah. fun with my glass. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But it's cool that you did just put the M on it because you didn't like uh, super brand it right. where it could be used for all sorts of occasions, but they still remember exactly. the M. And our, our logo is adorable. It looks like a crown slash M it slash does? something kind of Cinderella. -y. Adorable was the first word that came to my mind <laughs> when I thought of the logo. It's a little more precious. But yeah, that's, <laughs> wow. very, that's a precious. It's very sound. cute. It's yes. very cute. Thank you. It's very artistic. <laughs> so artistic. Artistic. The M. I, I like the M. I like the Joey, glass. I hope Joey's on the Facebook page. That's awesome. <laughs> Joey. Joey, that's great. That's At Joey Francia. <laughs> Go, watch me drink everything. You want to see what Joey looks bottle. like? Go to Facebook.com slash George Carson and these pictures are right yes. there for you. He's single, ladies. <laughs> and part, part of Ricky's head's on there, yes, too. Yes, part of my head. Part of my, my, with, my with my long, flowing, long hair. natural hair. 
his no, spectacles. And that's right. The whole nine. I have my crutches outside the door too. <laughs> <laughs> Rough night last night. Is that night, your guys. bus honking? It is. It is. It, it is. is. That's, they're waiting for me. Right. Yeah. They're very loud. Too much magnificent on, on my system. <laughs> so let's throw it back to Rebecca. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm afraid to say anything now. They no, might you're take good. it all no, kinds of squishiness, you know. Well, it's covered. She's got squeezy in the glass. Stress relief balls. We got squeezy balls. She's pulling it out. Um, fun with your champagne. Fun with your champagne flute. We're just really using fun our with flutes. Yeah. And, and, and the American other side, pie. the other end is very sturdy. Let's point that out. Yes, it's a very very heavy glass. It, it has some weight over. to it. Yes, yes, it does. And um, and the bubble. Soon, the bubble. Actually, the bubble's going away, guys. It, it, it's still not the bubble. bubble. The bubble is slow. going it's away. Oh, it's still running pretty good. Isn't it pretty it's fabulous? Pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Joey's and still pounding in the back. And they, and they make really good. Their business cards are very serious. I'm, I have to say, anybody has They're this gorgeous. kind of point. Well, mine is, are. Right. <laughs> is, it a, is it a thick card? <laughs> it's very thick. It's a thick card. It's, it's actually pretty. It's like a. I it's thought really it was. Card, I thought though. it was a magnet at first, but it's not. You're off. <laughs> I th- Aaron, her, her cards were professionally made. I think mine came from Vistaprint. No <laughs> offense to Vistaprint, but <laughs> yeah, you don't want to offend Vistaprint because you might no, use no. them in the future. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think they actually your, did. I thought your son made them. Oh, oh. 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 So oh. shout out to Cody and his uh, computer <laughs> skills. <laughs> shout out to Cherry Chan. <laughs> when... And welcome Whoa. back to AllTalkRadio.net. <laughs> The home of the inside joke. (laughs) (laughs) The the office manager made me some cards that are, uh, let's just say I'm not using them on this trip. Are you not? (laughs) You're like, thanks a lot. I can't use any cards for the nightclub and uh, bar Yeah, so that's fine. Uh, I'll be supporting Magnifico with my Midnight Munchies cards. (laughs) Oh, there you go. I'm forced. (laughs) You're forced to do it. You need a way for them to contact you, of course. Exactly. (laughs) Until until they look at that card the next day like, who? Wait. Munchies? Munchies? Who is this guy? We didn't mean this. (laughs) Where's the, where's the champagne people? I'm where's the champagne? In, I'm never in Costa Mesa. <laughs> where's that champagne woman in those? Yeah. Where's her squishy those balls? Where's that squishy yeah, balls? For a <laughs> and the fun glasses. <laughs> Ricky's got the fun glasses. I, I have the fun glasses. I have the <laughs> Magnifico fun glasses at <sighs> alltalkradio.net. I can honestly say this male-driven industry typically is fun when you're the only girl. Yeah, you, you got to become one of the boys. And you know what wow. you should really do is just have some of these one-liners that that yeah. you just threw out there that you didn't know you were throwing out there ready to go. Yeah, I, I'm, and I'm you win learning. them over. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> it works. It works. It does work. Somebody's getting a bonus or fired, so it's okay. We're. I'm. I'm not. I don't I'm 1099, 100 percent commission. So <laughs> let me. Everybody's getting fired. <laughs> it will be me. Lucky you. I'm a brand ambassador. <laughs> okay. So Rebecca, um, tell us about. She's on the payroll. <laughs> I'm just. You're I'm gonna, just Boss, I love you. What, what, what is the boss's name? <laughs> well, we have um, our creative uh, director, owner, CEO, and um, of person titles. of. Is that all on his business know, card? Yeah, that's a lot of titles our on visionary. Card. Is that why I got a poster. <laughs> <laughs> our, yeah, our visionary of the brand is Robert Manfredonia. He's been in the uh, alcohol Robert. industry for a very, very long okay. time. Uh, he ran some big companies, uh, more beer type, and it was this was his vision. Uh, I met him three years ago when this concept was on a napkin, literally on a napkin. Okay. Showed me the. I thought it was really cute that he was drawing like stick beers of a champagne bottle, but you know, and he told me I'm going to do this champagne, and and I'm working on this project, and I have you know I want to come up with a niche market of a flavored high end champagne. I thought, okay, awesome. Call me when you do it. Three years later, sure enough, he, he called you. He called me. Yeah, you man told of him his too. Word. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So here we are, and we're enjoying our time. Joey finished oh, wow. the bottle. He finished the bottle. Oh, now we got to open up the grapefruit <laughs> blanc. <laughs> Here's the grapefruit blanc. I haven't even finished mine yet. He finished the whole bottle. <laughs> George needs a nipple. That's cool. <laughs> I'm okay with that too. <laughs> yeah, if that, if, if that could be the, oh, I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> if that could be the next glass shape, I think you have a real winner. You know, there. you know what? Yeah, that, <laughs> I bubbles and nipples days. don't work out. <laughs> All right, I think, I think it would get really eye. big. Yeah. That's True. Oh, good lord. Well, oh, you good guys lord. have no control of where this is going. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Popping the cork in the spring. Everywhere. See, at least we got two minutes. We, we got, got two minutes. Like, two minutes. We're we're got to get cut off. You're like, you better get. Wow, that hour flew by. 
<laughs> uh, there's another bottle. Oh my gosh. Fabulous. Jo- Joey, try not to drink the whole bottle this time. <laughs> <laughs> when well, in Rome. Yes, of yes. course. Well, if Vegas. you want to learn more about uh, Magnifico, you can go to the JeremyWomackShow.com. There is a link to their site there. Of course, there are links to uh, Aaron's sites. Uh, for Yo Mama, and uh, which I think is going to turn into uh, uh, Midnight Munchies. All morphing into Midnight morphing Munchies. Morphing into yep. the one. And if you uh, want to go check, if you're here for the nightclub and bar convention, you can go check out their booth because you're sharing it with who again? Uh, Perfect Vodka. Perfect yep. Vodka, and yep. it's 370, is that 376. correct? 376. 376, if you want to swing down there and check them out. This has been a really fun show. Yeah. <laughs> I, fun. I, I, I'll you. be hanging around. RickyJ.com. RickyJ.com. Official Ricky 21, J on Twitter. Or at 21.com. We're starting to build a website and I'm going to be uh, at the show drinking and uh, I'm going to be looking for those squeezy balls. <laughs> Orbit 21 and over 21. Yes, there, you go. yes, there you go. You there really you go. should have a squeezy ball. We're well, now I'm going to have to. I think my, my company, Orbit 21, my partner Joel will love it and my other partner, Bart, they're like, wow, squeezy balls. <laughs> yes. Who the hell talked to you about this? It's Magnifico like, and Ricky J. Yeah, the same Magnifico. Ball. We're, we're doing it, baby. We're doing it. <laughs> it's awesome. Thanks, guys, and thanks for the uh, the champagne. It was like I said, it was really good for somebody that doesn't drink. It, it tasted good and it went down smooth. So thank you, bravo, so much for bravo Jeremy, to George. Thank you for having us. Really, really a pleasure. Of course, Great and uh, in. tune in tomorrow. Uh, I don't have a guest right now, but that's okay. We're going to be talking about the whole. We'll be back. Oh, yeah, they're going to come back on the show. We're going to talk about the whole new launch of alltalkradio.net and how, how cool it is. So make sure you guys tune in for that. Thanks, guys, for coming in. Thanks, Aaron, Ricky J, and Rebecca, and Joey, and uh, I, the bodyguard, I'm, the bodyguard. <laughs> for coming in. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>